Hey guys, it's your boy Jay Kabata back here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple jobs where you can make 70000 without having college. College is important and some jobs do require college, so I would never tell anyone not to go to college. But the point of this video is to show you that you don't need college to be successful in life. And there are jobs out there that can pay you 70 k plus without any college. Alright, let's get into it. The first one I'm going to be talking about is a food server or a banquet server. Now, I'm not talking about a food server that works at Denny's. But there are definitely some high class restaurants where if you are a food server or if, for example here in Vegas if you're a banquet server in one of the major casinos where you could make some good cash. The person I talked to they make $13.80 an hour and they made around $120,000 a year with their tips included. Now they worked their way up there they were a server for about five years but the point of this is that all they had is a high school diploma and they started off as a server in a little restaurant but they worked their way up to make 120,000. Now being a server is definitely going to be dependent on where you live. For example here in Vegas it's a high tourist area so a server here is going to make a lot more than for example someone in like Idaho where there's not as much tourism. But if you live in a major city this is definitely something to consider because there are servers here in Vegas and I'm sure as in LA and New York where they are making a good amount of money if you're working in a high class restaurant. The next one kind of has to do with the food industry as well and that's going to be a bartender. Now the bartender I spoke to they actually got into the class for free because they were a bar back. But basically I looked it up and if you've never been a bartender, the class is around $600. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description for those people who live here in Vegas. And basically he just went to school for three months. Now being a bartender here in Vegas, especially if you work in the union, I found out that you can make anywhere from $12 to $15 an hour. And we're going to shoot on the lower end here. So if you make $12 an hour, but you're working in one of these packed bars. I know a lot of you guys, if you've ever been to Vegas, if you're on the strip or downtown, it gets super packed. Now, while everything's packed here in Vegas, that's going to allow you to make a lot of your money in tips. If you're making $12 an hour, if you make $200 a night in tips, which honestly isn't that hard in Vegas, as I said, it's a high tourism place. And if you're getting those tips and you work in a nice bar or in a bar that sees a lot of tourism, then that's definitely going to be doable. Being a bartender is going to be dependent on where you live. And I don't want everyone to think that if you're a bartender anywhere, of course, you need to be a bartender in a higher class bar, but the point of this is that if you're a bartender in a smaller bar, you start to get that experience, then you can start to apply for those higher bars where, where then you can start to make some serious good money. So if you're making $12 an hour as a bartender and you get $200 a night, your total for that night is going to equal $296. So $96 for the hours you worked, I'm just going based off 8 hours and then $200 in tips. If you divide that by the amount of hours you work, then you're making 37 an hour. The next one I want to get into is going to be a barber. So the barber that I spoke to said that he went to barber school for about nine months and that he paid about $12,000. Honestly, $12,000 is a lot, but at the end of the day, it's not college. You're not taking English. You're not taking math. You're not taking other classes that don't relate to what you're trying to learn. If you go to barber school, you're literally going to learn about how to cut someone's hair. The other expense of this is having your own product. So for example, like clippers, you might spend anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 once you have all your things together and that price may continue to grow over time. But at least all that money is being used into tools that are going to help you make money. The barber that I spoke to charges $35 a haircut and he says that each haircut takes him about 45 minutes. As we all know that most people tip their barber so I'm just going to go on the lower end and say that he gets an average amount of $5 every haircut and that's going to put him at $40 an hour. And he also said that he only works 5 days a week. so. If you times the amount of haircuts that he does a day, let's say he does eight haircuts for five days, he's making 1600 a week. Now this barber, I don't recommend doing this, but he says that he is self-employed and that he also doesn't pay taxes on that money because he's not working at a shop. My barber where he works at, he charges $40 and that's also not including tip. Although he works at a barber shop and he needs to pay fees for that, you can see exactly how much he's getting a haircut. If he charges $40 a haircut and each haircut takes him about one hour, you can already see that he's making $40 an hour and that's not including tip. The next one on the list is going to be a police officer or a corrections officer. To be a police officer or a corrections officer, basically all you need to have is a good record and then you have to go through an academy that takes you six months. Around the first year of being a police or a corrections officer, you're going to make around fifty to 55000 But over time, you start to get raises and you're able to do overtime, which is going to allow you to make closer to that seventy to $80,000 range. Obviously, the trade-off with this is that it's not a safe job and obviously a lot of people don't like the police right now. But I'm just throwing that one in there to say that you don't need a college. All you need is a high school diploma. One of the last ones I want to get into is going to be construction. So I spoke to a friend who works construction and he makes around 1500 to 1800 a week. Now he does work six days a week and he works 12 hour days and this one is hard work. The way he got in is that he knew someone. Although he knew someone, I do know quite a few construction workers who have also got in by word of mouth. And it seems like a lot of the construction jobs are word of mouth. And once you get in there, you can start 
to branch off into the certain type of work that you want in the construction field. Now, I don't think construction is easy by any means, but you didn't need to go to college and you're also making a lot of money. You are also working a lot, so that's just a trade-off that you're gonna have to decide on. This is just a quick video to give you guys some ideas and jobs that you can look for and where you can make up to 70,000. Now, this video doesn't have necessarily every single requirement that is needed to complete that job, but the main point is that you don't need college and it's honestly not that hard. Now, every job, you might need some stepping Stones, for example like a server if you've never been a server you can't just go work inside the best restaurant but if you do start off somewhere small it is a great thing to know that you can get in a place that is gonna offer a lot more and as I stated I did offer trade schools in here but the main thing is that it's no college if you go to a trade school you're learning everything that is needed for that job if there's anyone watching this video who makes 70,000 or more make sure to leave a comment down below in the description let everyone know what you do so that people who watch this video can get an idea if there's a job on here that I didn't mention that'd be very helpful for others. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. I'm gonna leave my Robinhood link down below in the description for a free stock. Make sure you click that, sign up, and get that free stock so that you can get started on investing. Until next time, guys.